This movie is going to show you how to write a program to make a go motor go forwards and backwards. This motor is going to be connected to pins 12 and 13. So in the setup part of the program we need to write this. Pin 12 needs to be set to an output. and so does pin 13 remember to do the semicolons at the end of each um, instruction line ok, we'll just rub this out and to make the motorway go one way we do this to pin 12 We'll make that go high. It's actually a comma that we need in there. And a semicolon at the end of the line. And here, pin 13, we're going to set that to low. If you want the motor to actually go, the pins are going to have to be set opposite. So one pin high, one pin low. So this might this will make the motor go one way. So here I'll say, I'll call that way forwards. And we'll let it do that for a little while. For one second. And then we're going to swap that around. I'm just going to copy those two lines, stick them both in there, and just modify them. So instead of 12 high, I'm going to make 13 high. Instead of 13 low, I'll make 12 low. And now this will make the motor go the other way. And we'll let it do that for a little while too. And so now we've got a program here which will set both of these pins here opposite to each other and um, that'll make the motorway go one way. And then if you swap the pins around, so 12 that was high has now become low and 13 that was low becomes high, that's what makes the motor go the other way. If you want to make the motor stop, you can do something like this. 12, low, and then 13, also low. So that's one way of making the motor stop. I'll let that happen for a while. Now if you run this program, you should find that the motor will go one way for a second then it'll stop and go the other way and then it'll have a rest for a second so now you should know how to make um, a motor go in both directions <laughs>